Salmon Beach is located on Hillux Drive on the York Peninsula and it's privately owned. When you arrive, go to the office and buy a visitor's pass. Then drive up to the gate and enter in your PIN number and you're off. Hey, it's Fishing Sister. We've come back to Salmon Beach to actually try our luck fishing for salmon today. It's a beautiful big sandy beach. Quite a steep walk down the cliff though onto the beach. So I'm going to have to be really careful. We're traveling light. We've got our extendable rods that pack down really small and we've brought no bucket just to keep a bag. So we've got our hands free for this climb down. Let's see how we go. So we've worn our walking shoes today our boots so they've got good grip oh, beautiful hope there's some salmon down there so this is where we have to go down there wow what a beautiful beach now what don't like the look of that <laughs> we've sort of come to a bit of a cliff makes me a bit nervous this kind of thing <laughs> All good. It's just fishing gear. Made it! Woohoo! That wasn't so bad. So I've come here to get salmon today and that means we need big hooks and big bits of bait. So this is the rig that we're using. We've got size 1O octopus hooks, two of them, and we've got a medium size star sinker and we've got a burly spring. So that's going to dig in to the sand and not move around and we can put some pilchard in here two bits of salted pilchard that's going to hang on really well. It's not too turbulent today but we don't really know until we cast in what the currents are like. So let's see how we go. Got the most massive fish on the line. Took off with it. I don't know what it was. Stingray? But feeling very motivated. Been here all day have nothing. This is my last rig. Lost a few today. Big crab probably. Oh it's a fish. It's a fish. Come on, come on. Come on. It's a, oh my goodness it's a salmon. You are kidding me. It's a salmon. It's a salmon. <laughs> Whoa! You know, I didn't even feel a bite. I thought it was a crab. And then when I was pulling it in, it's, I suddenly realized that's big. <laughs> I'm going to have to measure that. Just when I wanted to go home. <laughs> that's the biggest one I've ever caught, isn't it? Oh my goodness. 
That is the biggest salmon I've ever caught. So as soon as I've measured up this fish, I cut its throat and I bled it, which is really important to do with these big fish because it can ruin the taste of the flesh otherwise. So I bled it and now I've got it in a big hole upside down so that any other bleeding it's going to do will happen outwards. So it also keeps it a bit cool in the damp sand. So it's really important to bleed your fish. So that one wasn't in very deep. Out there. Oh God, look at this place. So beautiful. I love this time of the day. Absolutely gorgeous. You annoying thing. Seagull's waiting for you. All right, let's get you untangled. We bought these pilchards fresh because that's all we could get when you're camping. There's not a lot of options, but we've put them in salt and all the liquids come out and they've come quite firm. These are going to be much better to keep on your hooks excellent so we'll show you in another video how to salt your own pilchards so that they stay on your hooks better if you're enjoying this video please like it subscribe to see more of our videos click the bell and you'll be notified when we release a new one i reckon maybe we should make curry out of that yum We've got Pratitcha's Indian curry mix. Oh, there's a little knock. It feels like it. It really does feel like it. Here it comes, look at it. It's somewhere around 41, 42. So today we used for the first time these telescopic fishing rods because we were hiking in. We travelled light, we didn't bring any bucket today because of the walk <laughs> that we had to do. So just got the keeper bag, that's what I'll be wrapping this up in when we walk back. No room for buckets when you're going up the cliff face. So Salmon Beach delivered salmon. <laughs> we actually spent all day here trying fishing in different spots of the beach we could just couldn't get any bites and i thought you know let's just go home it's been a long day but martin's like no let's just stay for the dusk and straight away caught these two salmon this one's the 50 centimeter one that we're going to keep and cook a lovely curry with the other one was 42 centimeters and i let that one go so fantastic after a whole day of fishing to actually get something like this very special day this is fishing sister saying goodbye